Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, all right, Stuart. Yeah, 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 I thought, I thought it went well, yeah. Uh-huh. What? Oh, they don't want me, but I thought you said... Oh, 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 hold on, Stuart. Yeah, all right, mate, hang on, hang on. Hold on, yeah, I'll be with you. I've just... Yeah, hang on, mate. Babes? Baby? Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Please, 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 please. I'm really sorry. Please, please. Yeah, hang on, Stuart, yeah. Hold on. No, I didn't expect that. But you basically made me think it would be a shoe. A shoe it. No, I... No, I didn't. Oh, look, just forget it. Right? Forget it. Hey, come on, sit down. Eat up. What does this do? Oh, oh darling, please don't touch that. All right, it's dangerous. Good thing we're in a the hospital, then. OK. You really shouldn't be in here. I was bored. Can you take it back to recess for me, please? Of course. Come on, your dad will be worried. My dad says drugs are bad. That's why I stopped taking that Ritalin. For ADHD? Were those pills blue? All right, Phoebe, come with me. I want to see my no, dad. No, that's OK. We just need to step outside by the doctor. Oh. Oh. Jack. Oh. Oh. I don't think that this chest injury is the greatest risk to your health at the moment. Oh. I think you are. All your symptoms, euphoria, hallucinations, hypertension, dry mouth, they all indicate that you took an overdose of Ritalin. Oh. I've just had it confirmed. Don't talk to me about it. Jack? No? Well, how about I call Psych and get you sectioned? Because I've got enough evidence to say that you're a risk to yourself and maybe to others. No, 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 no. <sighs> Listen, Jack. God. I'm concerned that you're meant to take your own life. What, in front of my own daughter? Why would I do that? Well, can you explain the overdose? Because I can't. It was a mistake, OK? Sometimes I'm stupid like that. Well, why were you taking it at all? Oh, Phoebe, if you don't listen to the doctor, no one gets better. Yeah. Phoebe! Stop now, Could somebody switch that damn thing off? Charlie. Yeah, less of the old, darling. And the other one, she's even worse. The Bronxy one. This has to stop. And there's only one decent doctor, the Chinese lady. It's all right for you. You all have good jobs. You can afford decent shoes and big burgers. It's not been easy since my mum died. No, no. My dad, he's the best. Go away! You can't get in! Phoebe, we need the mic. Phoebe? <laughs> Jack, this is really disruptive. Does she have a phone or is there any way we can persuade her? We've made every effort. Hey, Phoebe. Phoebe, it's time to come out, OK? It's locked on the inside. Hey, Lofty. Phoebe, it's Dr Chow. You need to open this door now. Everyone is looking for you. Phoebe! Please don't be too aggressive. She's only 10. Phoebe? Where is she then? She's gone quiet at least. She must be out of range. Yeah, there's no sign of her. Okay, let's go and find her. Fine, right, we're gonna have to call Psych. No, 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 listen to me. I didn't try to kill myself. I wouldn't leave my daughter. That's not the man I am. So why did you take them? I used to roll prescription. It gives you focus, right? It's like a ton of coffee, only it's cheaper. Where on earth did you get that idea from? It worked for me. It gave me an edge. So 
So how long have you been doing this? For the last few months. It's been fine. Clearly. Apart from this weekend. I needed to be on top of it. I don't get any sleep some nights with her. So you thought some L prescription drugs were the answer? Look, if I had the answer. Wait, sus. Okay. Uh, Theatre's ready for no, I'm not going anywhere until you find her. I wonder what she'll do next. Charlie, Ethan. It's Rosie, your patient. Now. Right, we have six security men looking for her. Well, there have been more on one occasion. Really? Doesn't it worry you? Of course it does. Look, I don't know what your last hospital trust was like, but I think there's a lot we can do for Phoebe here. Oh, no, no, forget it. We're not going there. If you deny her condition, you deny her any help, and how will you cope with that? Oh, help? Do you know what kind of label ADHD is? You know how caring and motherly women are meant to be? <sighs> forget that. A couple of days with Phoebe. Thank God. Not all women. Well, her own mother didn't stick around. What? You said she was dead. What else would you tell a six-year-old girl when her mother just disappears? Now, for the first week, I told her she'd been taken into hospital, but... when she didn't come back... when it was obvious... Th no! Phoebes. She's alive? Phoebes! No! Phoebes, no! Oh, no! Dr. Hannah, my shift is finished. Is there anything I can do about Phoebe? I really don't think your intervention improved matters, Lily. To be honest, no. We've got half the hospital looking for it already. Why don't you go home, revise for the assessment, OK? Sorry. She dropped this. She cannot leave the building. She cannot leave the building. Rest assured, we're doing everything we can to find her. Phoebe, your dad loves you very much and he needs you. I want my mom. She doesn't want you. No. Yes. You see, that's the truth. And that's why your dad had to lie to you. Phoebe, sometimes the world doesn't work the way it should. And your dad was only trying to help you cope with that. I don't know what happened, but I know you need your dad. And your dad needs you. Can I have a receipt, please? Thanks. What? What? Why are you a doctor? Because you don't seem to like people very much. Or they don't like you. You don't have to like someone to help them. I suppose it's like having children. You love them, but you can also dislike them. So you care for money, then? I work for money. I care for nothing. I mean, for free. I like making people better. Come on. Lily, where did you find her? Conversation for a later time. Uh, I'll let security know. Yeah, please. <sighs> so sorry, Phoebes. I didn't want to hurt you. I know. Lily said. Jack, are you ready for us to take you up now? Come on, Phoebe. Let the doctors get your dad ready. Jack, you cannot cope with Phoebe on your own like this. I won't let social services get between us again. They'll just tell me I can't cope. What, and you think you can now? I'll lose her. Hmm? She nearly lost you. You know, we all have to accept some help sometimes, even if it reflects badly on us. All that means is some nerve at all, calling round, looking down at me. Pills that made us sick, yeah? Made her angry. ADHD, eh? Great. 
labelled again. We all have labels. Yes, Missy. Old and witchy. Frumpy. Nice. You're not frumpy. <laughs> Actually, you are quite frumpy. Shall I take you? Oh. 